Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, let's talk about abscissa and ordinate. So, as I told you that to plot a point, we need the perpendicular distance from x and y axis. Okay, first let's draw this uh, coordinate system. So this is, there are two lines. This is, let's suppose, x dash and this I can say x y dash and y this is o origin and let's plot this point this is one this is two three four y this is y positive so it will also be positive one two three four this is x x negative minus one minus two minus three minus four the side is y y negative, so negative values, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1. This is my coordinate system now, as per Leonard Descartes. Now we want to plot a point. So let's suppose there is a point here. This point, if you see, or let's take some other point. Okay, so let's take this point. So if you take this point, you can see this distance is how much? See this point, if you draw a perpendicular line here, perpendicular to x, axis, it, it will cut at this point too. So this distance is x and this is 2 here. So this is 2 comma and if you see the distance from the y axis, this distance is what? Three. So this point is nothing but two comma three. And this two is nothing but abscissa. And three is nothing but ordinate. So abscissa is nothing but my x coordinate. and ordinate is nothing but my y coordinate and if you see abscissa this word came from abscindere and that means to cut off this past particle of abscindere means to cut off we will talk about that right see if you talk about x, x coordinate or abscissa this is nothing but this is this is the perpendicular distance from y axis. This is, let me write here, perpendicular distance from y axis measured along x axis. Okay, talk about ordinate. This is perpendicular distance from x axis measured along y axis. Okay. It is not about the distance, it is about which axis, along which axis you are measuring. For example, if you talk about this two point, so along x axis, because this is x coordinate, so along x axis, what is the distance? Okay, and you'll find the distance from y coordinates p. If you have, if you want to find x coordinates, you have to find distance from y coordinates along x axis. If you want to find y coordinate, you have to find distance from x coordinate x axis along y axis. Okay. Point x is nothing but distance from y axis along x axis, right? So x coordinate is nothing but distance or perpendicular distance in both cases. Anyway, we will talk only about perpendicular distance. So you can just uh, uh, what do you call it? ignore this. Distance from y-axis measured along x-axis. This is x-coordinate. Please pay attention here. A lot of people get confused. 
x coordinate is distance from y axis measured along x axis that is x coordinate y coordinate distance from x axis measured along y axis okay so we talk about this point what is the distance from y coordinate measured along x axis so measured along x axis is this line because the x axis is here it, it, you have to create a line parallel to this and distance from this point. If you see here, the whole, if I draw a line parallel to this point, or let's take some other point, let's, let's take this point. Okay, let's try to find x and y coordinate. So for x coordinates, distance from y axis measured along x axis. So you draw a line that is parallel to x okay you don't need to draw after that this much is fine now you have to find distance from y-axis so this is a y-axis so you'll talk about this distance and measured along x-axis you have taken care by drawing a parallel so this line distance is my what x coordinate this distance is how much one and one two so two comma let's find y coordinate y coordinate is distance from x axis measured along y axis this is y axis so let's draw a parallel line along y axis and distance from x axis this is the x axis so let's find a distance distance between these two points is how much let's calculate 1 2 3 this is 3 but is a negative sign here this is minus 3 actually this is just minus 3 because we are putting algebra to geometry, so we are taking care of negative sign as well. This is 2 comma minus 3. This point is 2 comma 3. This point is 2 comma minus 3. And Cartesian system distance, I mean point is always denoted by x coordinate comma y coordinate. Z coordinate we are not taking care now, else it will be x coordinate comma y coordinate comma z coordinate. All three. Okay, hope you understand. Let's take some more example. Let's try to find this point. So we'll have to first find x coordinate. X coordinate is distance along x axis. So let's draw a parallel line along x axis and distance from y axis. Distance from y axis along x axis, how much will we see? 1 and 2, the negative sign, minus 2. And then I have to find ordinate. Ordinate is distance along y axis. This is y axis. Let's draw a parallel line on y axis. And let's and then distance from x axis. So distance from x axis that means you take this point. These points, if you see, the distance is how much? Two units in the positive side. So this is minus two comma. Let's try to plot some other line. Let's try to plot uh, this point. So first x coordinate, x coordinate is what? Distance along x axis. So along x axis, let's draw a parallel line and distance from y axis. So let's find this distance is if you see minus 4. Minus 4. And then distance along y axis for y coordinates. So let's draw a line parallel to y axis. And this is distance is how much? minus 2 so this is minus 2 okay that's how you plot the point if you see this is my first quadrant this is my second quadrant this is my third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant and you see here first quadrant both x coordinate y coordinate are positive in second quadrant if you see x coordinate is negative y is positive in third if you see both x and y co coordinates are negative in fourth quadrant x coordinate coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative. We will observe this in more examples. Okay. So we will we'll represent these points. So these points are already there. We will tell what is the uh, these points are. So in fact if this example is a little difficult for you hold on for some time. We will repeat the same thing once again. Right. So if this point is given again, we have to tell which point is this. 
So let's be able to uh, tell which is point B M L S. Let's try to plot uh, tell what is point B. So B X and Y X coordinate Y coordinate X coordinate is what distance along X axis. So along X axis, this is the distance. Distance is comma Y coordinate is what distance along Y axis. This is Y axis aligned parallel to Y axis. Is this so distance along y axis is how much? This distance that is nothing but this distance that is nothing but this is three. This is four. This is three. Four comma. So b point is four comma three. Let's try to plot plot point m. X coordinate is what? Distance along x axis. What is this value? This is minus three. Minus three. Y coordinate is what? Distance along y axis. And this is four. So this comes three comma minus four. Okay. Let's talk about this. This point L. X coordinate is what? Distance along x axis. This is x axis. This distance is what if you see minus five. So I'll put a minus five here. Comma. Then y coordinate. Y coordinate is what distance along x axis. Sorry, y axis. This is y axis. Distance along y axis. We see this distance is what. This is minus four. This is this is minus four. So minus five comma minus four. Let's take this. X coordinate distance along x axis. This is three. This is also three. This will be three. Comma y coordinate distance along y axis. Along y axis, this distance is what if you see minus four. So minus four. So if you see here once again, this is first quadrant, both x and y coordinates are positive. This is second quadrant, x coordinate negative, y coordinate positive. This is third quadrant, both x and y coordinates are negative. This is fourth quadrant. Here x coordinate is positive and y is negative. Okay, you can just say like this. This is one, two, and three, four. This is all positive, you know, x. This is all positive, you know, x. This is all negative, you know. And this is also all negative. So anything in this quadrant, both x and y will be positive. This is x. Anything in this quadrant, x will be negative, y will be positive. Anything in this quadrant, both x and y are negative. Anything in this quadrant, x will be positive and y will be negative. Please pay attention and then after a few examples, I think you will understand the concepts. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.